Hello and welcome to a lesson where we'll cover all the basics about tools. We'll start off with the most simple one, Move Tool. Move Tool is simply used to walk on the work surface. You can use it by clicking on the arrows, but we recommend simply grabbing the surface with your first click and drag to a place where you want to move. If you want to move quickly without grabbing the surface, click on the icon with the hand and the trackball above. Additionally, if you want to take it to a next level, you can use trackball to move through the workspace. Next up, Zoom Tool. Zoom Tool is one of the tools you'll be using the most. You can zoom in and out by simply clicking on minus and plus icons. Blue bar under the icons show how much you have zoomed in already. Most important part of the zooming tool is direct zoom. You can use it by clicking on the middle arrow, make a selection of the area you want to zoom to, and by releasing the mouse click, you'll automatically zoom. Now on to the grid tool. Grid tool allows you to quickly toggle background grid on and off by just clicking on it. This is helpful if you want to see the edges of the pixels more clearly. Area tool. Area tool is probably a tool everyone uses the most, since it's used to precisely select a desirable area. Any action you want to do will start with this tool, whether you want to move something, cut, copy or add number of rows or needles. Let's see what the clear tool is all about. Look at the clear tool as your classic eraser tool. If you want to erase something, you'll do it by using this tool. There are two ways you can use to erase something. First one is your classic brush-like eraser. Click on the eraser tool and by clicking on the area you would like to erase, just hold the left click and drag over it. Second way starts by selecting an area with area tool. Click on the eraser tool and choose whether you want to erase inside or outside the area. Simple as that. Cut and copy tool. To cut and move desired area, first select the area you want to cut using area tool. Then click on cut icon and by clicking on any of the arrows, you choose in which direction you want to place that area to. Same goes with copying the area. Just select the area you want to copy, click on copy icon and choose at which direction you want it to be copied.
insert or delete tool. The insert tool is used to essentially multiply pixels in the direction you desire. Similar to the copy tool, you will select the area you want to insert and then click on the insert tool. This will open an insert tool pop-up window, where we can choose the amount of inserts we want and the direction in which it will be inserted. And the job is done. Base Pattern Repeat Tool The Base Pattern Repeat Tool is used when we want to copy or paste the selected area or design onto chosen colors in the structure of the future program. For clarity, we will select Direct for what we want to paste onto the structure and within the structure we will choose the colors onto which we want to paste what we selected as Direct. Color Change Tool The Color Change Tool allows for changing or exchanging colors. Changing colors can also be done in parallel using multiple colors. Color Fill Tool The Color Fill Tool lets us fill a specific area or color with the color we want. We have several options for fill. Normal, which fills with a specific color. Force, which fills all physically connected colors. Line, which fills lines vertically and horizontally. And Color Plus One, which adds color sequentially. For example, with colors 1, 2 and 3, each subsequent fill will use the next color or code.
Now let's talk about shadow tool. The shadow tool allows for shading or coloring a specific area with the desired color. For example, if we want to color a selected area with a new color, we will firstly pick our check color, which would be our source to give us the area we will project our color from. We'll use draw color to fill in desired area width. And lastly, when we choose exact color, we are choosing the area we want to project our desired color to. This process can be done vertically, horizontally and diagonally. Onto the line tool. The line tool allows for linear drawing in all directions with solid or dashed lines. In the options, you can select the lines to be 1x1, 2x2, and so on. And our last tool for this lesson is Mask Color Tool. The Mask Color Tool ensures that checked colors are excluded from the process of copying and filling that area or color. For example, if we select a specific structure that we want to repeat or paste onto a design, but want to exclude some colors in the design, those colors selected in Mask Color will be excluded. 